Hey, what's going on folks? Welcome to another episode of Half-Ass Gaming Retrospective. My name is Waycrow and today we're doing a game I used to love as a child, Rise Star. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, I think we can go ahead and throw in some cheats so uh, not to um, bore you guys. Oops, wrong button. Oh, I guess we're playing the first level. Alright, oh well. Well, nah, yeah, we'll just play the first level, Planet Floria. Uh, Rise Star was made back in 1995. It was supposed to originally be intended as the original mascot for Sega. But, as everyone should know, he was replaced by Sonic the Hedgehog some time later. And then pretty much disappeared into obscurity until 1995 when the creators finally decided that, you know, they're gonna, in between Sonic games, they were gonna, you know, work on this as a side project. Uh, you, you know, it's just basic 2D platformer, although, you know, you can climb things using your outstretched arms. Uh, the way you defeat enemies is by grabbing onto them, as you can tell. You can kind of do some little acrobatics and stuff. I think there's a bunny in here. Hold on. Yeah, there he is. Got him. Alright, but, I mean, it's pretty interesting. It's got multiple worlds that you can go to from, uh, Planet Floria to, like, some, like, industrial level. To, there, there was a couple other ones. An ice level, your city level, which happened to be my favorite. That was the one I was originally going to show you guys. But, I changed my mind. Well, I'll show it to you, actually, after this mission. I'll just have to reset the game. I'm using this on emulator, of course, because I don't have a uh, capture software that can really work with old systems. Well, you. So it's a pretty simple, fun game. I mean, I loved it when I was a kid. I actually got in some trouble back when I was in third grade because uh, a friend of mine let me borrow it, and I never gave it back, and his mom actually had to come to the school and complain. So what you see here is actually a launch pole, and pretty much what you do, you swing off of it, as you can see, and yeah, you. You can actually get some distance with it. There's multiple ones. Pretty much, this is just your. Oops, excuse me. This is your basic level. Here we have a bonus. Oh, almost missed it. You have to forgive me. I'm playing on a keyboard. It's a little different. But you know, this will launch you into a special little zone here. Pretty much, your objective here is just to collect a treasure. Uh, seems easy at first, but later on it actually gets a little bit more difficult. They have you know different platforms that you have to launch off of, or you have to avoid altogether. I see it's kind of hard to control them a little. Actually, I'm surprised I got it that first try, but that's whatever. So, I mean, it really didn't count towards anything. It wasn't like Sonic the Hedgehog, where if you had the Chaos Emeralds, they actually, you know, helped towards, you know, the end game. Pretty much all you get from these stars is just a little bonus on your score. Whoop. Took some damage there. There you go. Simple, easy. What I do like is you can see I kind of have like little acrobatic skills. You can just jump from place to place, no problem. Yep, yep. Let's see, I'm actually kind of disappointed that Sega didn't really continue on with this franchise because it is a fun game. And yep, there we go. Yeah, you get height bonuses at the end to see how high you get. That's about usually about as high as you can get. I would say it's a little bit more, but not much. So yeah, here's the dark woods. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, you. It's like by far the most useless enemy in there. Easy kill. So pretty much the backstory of this is uh, a galaxy gets taken over by an evil tyrant, and the people of Planet Floria, the planet I'm on actually right now, uh, make a uh, summon the hero. Turns out, though, the hero had been captured by uh, this evil tyrant's like new special ability that he had earned where he can make a, uh, I don't know what it is, it's like a warp hole or whatever, like a wormhole, and you can pretty much teleport your enemies into another dimension. And pretty much he did that on Rystar's father, Rystar Sr. And so, pretty much it was up to his son to answer the call of people of Planet Floria, which then later on he finds out that other planets are also under attack, so... Come on! There you go. So yeah, you can make... That was another interesting thing, you know, about this game. A lot of games really didn't have a lot of destructive environments. Oops, I guess I died there. I didn't think I had such less health. Huh. Get out of my way. So... 
There's some enemies like that pod thing right there I find kind of useless. I mean, it just was there for, you know, silly animations, which was very well implemented. Yep, yep. Up we go. Screw you, Gecko. And we're moving on. I'm gonna try to make this as fast as possible. Tree is down. See, I mean, it's very simple. See, this is kind of something I noticed that it's like the first time they actually dealt with, I guess, multi-layers within a 2, 2D side-scroller. You know, when enemies in the back, you can't hit them, but you have to wait for the right time. I mean, for a game made in 1995, you know, during that era, it's actually kind of interesting to see. Another thing about this game is you can take multiple paths. As you can see, there are lower paths, there's higher paths, kind of like how Sonic was. This was originally created by Sonic Team, so... I mean, you really can't expect, you know, no less back in those days, back when they were still making great Sonic games. I mean, don't get me wrong, they still, I mean, Sonic Generations is good and Sonic Colors is alright, but it's nowhere near, you know, the quality of what we had back in these days. Oh, you like that. Uh-oh. So yeah, it gets darker, you have, you know, your night and daytime effects. I think there was like one level where you actually had to uh, collect musical pieces, and that actually helped. As you can see back there, that's actually uh, the boss. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see him, but he's tossing bombs at me right now. I better be careful, I'm gonna die. That'll be the boss that I fight later on here. Yeah, that's pretty much over now. That was actually the, the king, I think, of Planet Floria, or at least the stage, or whatever he is. Oh yeah. I mean, it's a really simple game in the beginning, because the Reho is coming. I mean, later on, I'll go ahead and just show you, it gets a little bit more difficult. So, yeah, here we go, we got our boss right there. As you can tell, he has that thing attached to him, and that's pretty much my goal, is to get him. There we go. Pretty simple. Avoid the, you know, getting hit by these little tornado things. Oh crap. There we go. I think two more hits should do it. And there we go. That's the end of it. Oh, oh, oh. So pretty much, see, he's not being possessed anymore, and he's like, oh, praise you. And so, you know, he pretty much tells you, hey, there's other planets you need to go rescue, so. Off we go. So that was the uh, stage one of Rise Star, I should say. Yeah, stage, with the three levels. Let me go over here and uh, go ahead and do a soft reset so I can show you. Yeah, it's pretty much like the little intro screen. Probably the right was I. I'll be E. Oh, there it is. You. Yeah. R D level selects. So now I actually get to choose every level in the game. And I'm going to show you some interesting, uh, one of my favorite stages. I, well, personally, it's one of my favorite. It's level 4-1. Planet Sonata. It's actually kind of like an urban environment. Futuristic. And the world is actually inhabited by birds. And as you can tell, that adds more gameplay elements, like trying to uh, keep this uh, metro metronome with you. You can see, if you give it to the bird, it sings the songs. You got you know, your little things. Oh, hold on, let's see if I can do this. This one's got... Ah. Come on, that was it. Oh, screw it. I don't have time for it. There we go. So you can give it to this little guy so you can take on the enemies and keep going. Oh, come on, that was a hit. 
see, I have to climb up here, wait a second for the uh, fan to get strong enough. Oop, this, there we go. Oh, oh god! Please forgive me, I'm not playing on a Genesis controller like I'm used to. Oh, come on, you're supposed to take it. Take it! Thank you. A little bit of skill there. Skill jumps. Oh, almost dropped. Come on. There we go. I would actually like to see this redone. I know it's on the, uh, you can get it for Xbox with the uh, Sonic Ultimate Collection, but I mean, I would like to see, you know, some HD graphics, you know, maybe just, you know, make it look nice again, new sounds. Aw, oh, bastard. What? What happened? Did you have a heart attack or something? That was odd. Alright. But, I mean, I w as much as I would like to see a uh, remake for it, or like a whole new game itself, lately Sonic Team really hasn't been doing that hot. Especially with a lot of games like, you know, Sonic and whatnot. Really, Sega in general, I mean, unless it's like, you know, got a partnership with Platinum Games, it's really not worth it. Oh, come on. There we go, got it, see? So that, that's actually how you get that metronome. And then pretty much you escort this metronome all the way through the level. I believe there's four birds you actually have to uh, give these metronomes to. And then once all four collected, they sing, a, you know, like, I guess some really great song or whatever. So I'm guessing the evil tyrant went and stole the metronomes from these birds. And then, I don't know what really cosmic significance these things have, these birds. I mean, it's never really explained, but I mean, Sonic Team really always never did have much of a story in their games. I mean, defeat Dr. Robotnik, and if it's not that, then it's, you know, not until recently when they started adding stories with, you know, Sonic Unleashed and Sonic Adventure 2s and all that. Oh, there we go. So I like it's like the street lights are made out of. Let's see if I can pull this off. Yep, got it. Yeah, got me a new star. Oh, Christ. I always forget about that. So, yeah, but, you, you know, a lot of these levels later on, you have to require some sort of skill. Get in the hole. There we go. I mean, why Sega hasn't made another one of these is actually beyond me, because... I know it didn't really do all that popular in the U.S., or it didn't do all that well, excuse me, but, I mean, that was really due to bad press more than, ah, oh, Christ. No. I mean, that was more of bad press than, you know, if anything. I mean, they really didn't advertise this game much at all. There were hardly any commercials for it. Or at least in my area, there weren't. I mean, there were commercials, I'm pretty sure, I mean... Sega wouldn't just release a game without, you know, some sort of advertisement for it, but, you know, back in those days, it cost a lot of money to air stuff on a tele, you know, on television. Oh, God! Oh, yeah. Got it. There you go. Oh. Boy, these bombs. Make a little sacrifice. Oh, you bastard. And then he's gonna go back and try to protect it, too. Ugh. There you go, got him. So. Precision throwing is another thing that's in this game that you don't really see often. I'll get it by a note. Oh, got hit by it anyways. Oh, this is garbage. That means I gotta go and fight all these things. Nope. There we go. Oh, no. Gotta do it the cheating way, climbing up. Really not supposed to do that, but I do it anyways. How much health do I have, too? I should be good enough for a while. 
Oh, come on, get up there. Thank you. Again, I apologize, I'm playing on computer. I have to use the emulator, like I said. So, don't get me wrong, I, st I do own this, actually. I have my own copy. It's actually sitting right next to me. Or at least in a drawer next to me. Those are like the weirdest birds. But, uh, get up there. But, there we go. Alright, but I was like I was saying, you know, I'm using emulators, so. Sorry, Sega. I do own it, though. This. So, you know, yeah, support your official release, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, birds. I find this to be a pretty useless part. I, I don't understand this. It's kind of like whack a mole. Ah, damn it. Uh, no. No. I don't know why. Sorry, I was rubbing my eye there. Oh, God. No. Got that one. That's taken care of. Who's next? You are. Oh, so that means. Oh, oh God, that's you still. Alright, your third turn. Oh, come on! Got it. Got it. Alright, so that's. One more bird to kill, and that should be the end of it. Okay, I, I don't know. This seems kind of useless. I mean, the only times I got hit is because, you know, bad hitboxes and whatnot. And me rubbing my eye. Sorry, I kind of anticipated. Oh, still anticipating. Got it. There we go. Done. Yep. They're all dead, mister. Get out of here. I like how he's still conducting even though, you know, he's flying off. Alright folks, well I'm going to go ahead and just cut it here actually. Uh, thanks a lot for watching Retrospective. My name is Waycrow and I'm signing off.